Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 14th of July 2022. Hope you are keeping well. Uh, it's ha <coughs> excuse me, toast stuck in my throat. A light breakfast of toast because later on I'm expecting a huge lunch and uh, <laughs> uh, so I have not eaten too much this morning. Um, uh, it's a holiday, it's kind of a holiday here in Thailand, it's a, it's not a bank holiday but it is a government holiday. Yesterday was bank holiday and government holiday, uh, so it means that some people get two days off, some people got one day off, but a lot of people will convert the two, you take a day's leave on Friday and convert the whole thing into five days without work. Um, this is quite common uh, here in Thailand. Um, and uh, um, I have lost some work because of people uh, doing that even though I'm not officially on leave today I uh, am in effect on leave for most of the day so that's quite nice uh, this is the Guardian hard level game uh, what's happening in the news oh yeah well I don't know but um, something that was rather concerning that uh, today was the first day when I logged on to the Guardian I haven't seen a huge banner of what's going on with the Ukraine war and I hope this is not a sign that the media is starting to lose interest and start to forget about what's going on there that's the trouble with I'm um, doing air quotes news they're only ever interested in something the situation changing right situations that are ongoing which are still as terrible day by day tend to get dropped and uh, overlooked so let's not forget what's going on in Ukraine I hope it's not a bad sign that suddenly the news uh, cycle has started to ignore um, the war in Ukraine, which is really a terrible thing that's going on right now. Okay, let's uh, play the game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, you probably know how to play a very quick precy of the rules if you don't. Uh, we have a row across here and a row across here. This row has only two, square, two <coughs> squares filled in with digits. This row has four squares filled in with digits. There are nine squares in total in each row and in each column and we fit the numbers one to nine in each row column and also in these boxes these three by three nine blocks that I usually refer to well, the grids that I usually call blocks okay how do we go about finding the numbers uh, we say something like these eights and sevens which are really interesting eight blocking down here and eight blocking down here and eight blocking across here I mean that <coughs> excuse me eight restricts these other cells in blue cells or squares in blue from becoming an 8 because we have an 8 in this column already, 8 in this column already, 8 in this row so only this square can become an 8. Uh, we do the same with the 7's blocking down you know there's only one square where the 7 can go. The 7's and the 8's were pretty easy to spot there. Okay so that's how we play the game. Shall we get on with it now and uh, now that you know how to play it let's see what else we can find. We have 3's blocking across these rows so we can place our three in that location there. <coughs> Excuse me, that toast was rather um, dry. It seems to have stuck in my throat a bit. Um, uh, hard level game this one supposed to be, by the way. I did. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. If I didn't, I now have. And if I have had already mentioned it, I've now repeated it. Newcomers to the channel, welcome. Click on the subscribe button and please note that I don't play these games ahead of time. I don't practice or work out anything in advance. I just play the game as I see it. Uh, we are not guaranteed a beautiful solution, a notation free solution, or the most elegant solution or anything else just a solution so if you're stuck and don't know how to go forward on this this will provide you an explanation of how to finish the game uh, whether or not it's particularly good is not uh, relevant here uh, well I have seen something I see three blocking this square and this square, which puts threes down here, and I see s 
so <laughs> I do have not seen some. Yes, I have. Six blocking these three squares down here, all right? And that means that six will have to be uh, here or here, right? <laughs> I'm still working this out. Yes, six. Six blocks. This six blocks. These three squares here. So we need a six for this column. That means it has to go there or there. And so six will be down here with the threes. Right. I did see it right. <laughs> it's still early here. I'm still not fully awake. I think. All right. So we got the three and the six here. So then over here we have the other numbers. That means we have one. We have five. We have nine. <clears throat> um. Um, but can't quite place them yet. Okay, so uh, can that would that give me something up here? One, five, and nine. So missing up here is two, four, two, three, four. Sorry, any help there? Threes. So threes are up here. That makes sense. Um, two, four, nothing yet. Okay, all right. All right. That was uh, not very productive, but that's what the game of Sudoku is like often. You just uh, look for a while and don't find anything. Okay, we have in still let's try something easier. Four is blocking across here. Four goes up here. Oh, I forgot to mention in my list of things, which is this not this is not the fastest way to play the game either, <laughs> as you will have just noted. Um, Well, the Guardian hard levels are, generally speaking, fairly straightforward. But last week we had a couple of tricky ones, really. Both days, I thought, were uh, good level games, hard level games, actual hard level games. Which was uh, quite interesting and unusual for the Guardian, I would say. <clears throat> All right, let's just hit the numbers and see uh, if anything comes to mind very quickly. Okay, so we have eights blocking across here like this, and an eight down there, so an eight goes there. Is that the only nine? It appears to be the only nine. Now we have sevens blocking across here, so in fact we can place a seven there now.
Uh, okay, so now the one blocks across here like this, putting one in one of these two squares. So let's take that in the opposite direction, one blocking like this and one blocking down here. So we can fit out one there. I think I said this was five and nine, didn't I? I do believe I said one, five and nine. Um, so do we have any more info on that yet? Uh, well, yeah, five blocks across here, five blocks down here, so actually now we can place our five there. So then the five is in that square and the nine is in that square then. Uh, missing numbers in this row are 1, 3, and 6. We have a 1 and a 6 both blocking the square, so that's got to be a 3. And now we have 3 blocking down here, across here, and down there, so that will be a 3. We know that 1 and 6 are in these squares here, so the missing numbers here must be 2 and 9. And we have a blocking 2 here, so the 2 will go there, and the 9 will be there. And now there's only one number missing for this row, which I believe is a 6. I think so. And down here then will be the 3. Uh, missing across here now, 2, 6, 9. We have 2 and 6 in the same column, so 9 is there. <clears throat> right, where to now? chair a little bit. It sometimes helps reposition my viewpoint. Let's go back to clicking digits to look for inspiration. Okay, so we have 7 blocking up here, that puts 7 in one of these two squares, so let's say blocking back in this direction here, 7 blocking across here, 7 blocking up here, that's where our 7 goes, and now 7 blocking up here, and up here, and across here, that's where a 7 goes.
Okay, we have four blocking this square, four blocking this square, and four blocking this square. So in this row, that's where the four must appear now. One number missing for this column, which I, I think is a nine. It is now, whether it wants to be or not. It has to be now, because I'll put it in nine. Now it will be in that square, nine down here, nine up here. Nine goes there, nine across here, nine up here, nine is there. Nine back here, nine across there, nine is here, and the missing number here looks to be a six. Six blocking down puts a six there. Missing number here, one. Putting a one in that square. The last number to go here is a four. <coughs> four also needed for this column. Now, four blocking. This column, four blocking across here, puts a four over there. And we're going to finish the fours, four blocking up here, across there, across here. Actually, that was unnecessary, that one. Four blocking up here, here's four. That's the final four. So four and nine are done. Uh, we have one number missing from this column, which is one. We have one blocking across here, so that is a one, the final digit for this row. Six, I believe. Missing from here is two. Missing from this column now is another. No, it's not. <laughs> I almost said something untrue. Three is what's missing. Uh, and now we have three blocking across here, across here, up here, and up here. That's the final three. Okay, not too much more to go now. What's missing in this column? We're still looking for a 1. And so as soon as I see that 1, meaning that can't be true, I know the 1 must go there. And the other number we're looking for in this column um, is a 7, I do believe. Right, and 7 blocking up here and 7 blocking across here, so that's a 7. That square there, missing numbers here are uh, 6 and 8, of which we just can't get just yet, but that's okay. Not much more, not, I don't think there's anything difficult to go yet uh, here. Uh, missing numbers here are 2 and 5, and we have an intersecting 5 here, so the 5 will be there and the 2 will be there. 2 blocking down puts the 2 in that square. The last number to get here is a 6 which now blocks this square, so we know 6 is here. The missing number here now is 8. Uh, <laughs> 2, 2, 2, which to go first? Um, well, we, we still need 1, 2, 5 and 8. Do we see anything looking like it? Yes, we do. We see the 1 blocking across there, so we know the 1 goes there. We need 2 is the final digit there. Two blocking back that way, so two goes here. We have two and five. Oh, oh, we're looking for five and eight now only, so eight is there, eight blocks across here. That will be the eight, and the last number will be our five. That's it. Thank you very much for today's Guardian hard level game. Not particularly difficult. Certainly nothing like last week's Thursday puzzle. That's it. Bye-bye.